But without further ado, I want to hop on here and introduce. I'm just so grateful to get to do. Look, here's the deal. I'm not on Trisha's team. Trisha's not on my team. We're a cross line cabin cousins, as I like to call it, uh, cross line cousins or whatever. But there are people on this journey. There are people that you will you will meet uh, throughout. It's just this is how it is. You will meet and you will just connect with them and you'll say like this is one of my people. And I am so grateful for Trisha Costa and just who she is, the leader that she is, how she how she trains, how she the integrity that she carries, the um the the strength that she has. Man, let me tell you, she gives other people a backbone by the backbone that she has. It's just truly so special. And when we have people like her um in this space, it's really what sets it is what sets Live Good apart from from so many other things. Uh, she just it has such incredible integrity and we attract people like that, um, especially when they understand and see the mission. Um, and it's not, uh, I'm chasing a, chasing a penny. Right. Um, and so, uh, without further ado, I'm going to pass it over to the amazing, awesome Trisha Costa, everybody just, uh, yeah, clap for her. And then, and then on top of it, just open your ears, open your eyes, open your heart and just be prepared. Cause I'm telling you, she's about to bring this awesome value. Thank you so much, Josh. You are amazing. And I feel the same way about you. I feel like very few leaders have the kind of integrity that you have and just honored to be working with you. And like you said, we're cousins. We're not in the same team. But we're all a big family here and live good. You know, as long as people have integrity, as long as they do this business the right way, uh, the way I see it, they are on my team. That's the team that I'm on is the the team of high integrity, uh, the team of passion and excitement and fun and the team that wants to be a big family here and live good. And that's who you and Britt are and Des and Tim and, and so many others, Gloria, just this company has a lot of amazing people. And one thing I've learned, guys, is the the ugly people, the ugly leadership, is what they are walking out on their own. They're just live good does not have room for people with low integrity. That's just how it is. We do not attract the slimy network marketer and the slimy network marketer that joins he or she decides to leave because there is no room for shenanigans here and they don't like it. Uh, there's no room for taking advantage of people and selling those big packs and they don't like it. So for that reason, they kind of walk themselves out. So I, I see a lot of people, you know, leaving uh, that don't have integrity and we are attracting a lot of amazing people that have integrity. So with that, First of all, let's talk a little bit about, well, actually, no, you know what I'm going to do? Before I, I, I talk, I asked my husband, you guys know he's a physician. He has never really liked my network marketing companies. He has never really used any of my products. Uh, and he's a dermatologist. And not even when I was in Miriam and I had skincare and people thought, oh, she's successful because her husband's a dermatologist. He never used my product, never talked about my product, never sold my product. People thought, you know, I was having success because he was selling in his practice and he never did. So this is the first time in history that he actually loves the products, takes all the products, and now he's taking lean. And I think lean is such a, a special product. And I asked him if he would talk a little bit about lean, um, because it's truly the best weight loss product on the market today. There's nothing better. There's nothing more effective. And the price is unbeatable. So I asked him to talk a little bit about lean on a Saturday morning, and he agreed. So he's not a network marketer at all. But I got him to speak in Vegas. And now I'm going to get him to speak a little bit again. So here is my awesome husband, Joe, the non-network marketer <laughs> that's getting pulled into it nonstop. <laughs> Thank you, Tricia. I appreciate it. And we're not going to be talking about comp plans this morning, just uh, to give you guys that uh, quick heads up. So I want to give you a little bit of background about myself. So I've been practicing medicine for 30 years. Uh, the first half of my career, uh, I was in family medicine and was director of medical education at uh, Florida Hospital in Orlando. So we trained medical students and residents 
And then about halfway through my career, I decided I really wanted to make a change. So I went back and did a fellowship in dermatology. As, as Tricia mentioned, I practice dermatology currently. But, um, you know, the hottest product certainly through LiveGood is, is uh, Lean. And I wanted to dig a little bit deeper into that product, uh, both for myself, as far as an understanding of, of how it works, uh, really what to expect with the product, and um, and get a little bit of a, a you know, deeper dive into the product. So, you know, just based on the, the name of the product, you know, it's a body composition improvement formula. This is not a, a fat burner. This is not, oh, we're going to get you hyped up on a stimulant. You're going to lose your appetite. You'll be shaky. You won't be able to sleep. But yeah, you're going to lose a few pounds. You know, that's really not what this product is about. Um, this is about combining individual elements uh, into this product. They all do something a little bit differently, but when you bring them together, it really makes a powerful product. And each of these individual components, um, there are studies um, you know, on each of the components, and all of them do have some degree of effect on weight loss, not tremendous. You know, there, there's no you know, single ingredient or component that's like, oh, this is gonna you know, blow it out of the water. But when you put these together, you really get that synergistic effect and you get a really powerful product. Um, you know, the goal is really to, to lose fat, but also to maintain muscle mass. And that's really the, uh, the goal on the product. So I just put together a really brief slideshow. I can't share it, obviously, but I'm going to go through that. Uh, if any, anybody wants to get a copy of it, let me know. I can always send it to you. So there's really four crucial processes that we look at uh, with uh, weight loss, weight management. Um, one is increasing metabolism. We want to get our metabolic processes uh, up. Um, that's certainly going to help uh, burn calories. Number two is going to be eating less. It's a simple numbers game, right? Less in, then you're not going to store it in fat. So, um, so having that reduction in appetite is going to be important. Uh, burning fat uh, certainly is, is really our goal. We want to get rid of excess fat, particularly areas that can be a little bit more difficult to, to break down. And then the final thing, which a lot of people don't necessarily associate with weight loss, is immune system support. So maintaining a healthy immune system. And so, so when you look at lean, it really covers those four components, uh, those crucial four processes. So let's start with the first one, which is increasing metabolism. Uh, it has uh, three separate products that fit into this category, really. Uh, one is going to be the green tea extract. And so this is the only uh, component of lean that has a, a small amount of caffeine. It's very minimal. Uh, it's not going to really cause um, side effects or issues. Uh, but uh, there have been studies that show that it's a very uh, highly antioxidative, uh, has highly antioxidative properties. Um, there's studies showing it does improve blood pressure, cholesterol profile, and can actually inhibit fat absorption into the adipose, uh, adipocytes or uh, fat cells. Uh, the second component is going to be the L-carnitine. So L-carnitine is actually an amino acid derivative that turns fat into energy. Uh, it is produced naturally in the brain, liver, and kidneys. Um, so as a result, it actually, there's some studies that show it may improve brain function as well. And then the third one is actually a really interesting component, uh, and that's called shajibugri which is a, a Brazilian um, fruit, kind of similar to a, a coffee bean, but uh, it's grown in Brazil and they, they take the, the fruit and produce a tea from it. And um, most of you probably know Trisha's from Brazil. So I thought this was interesting that they included a, her, uh, her native fruit into the pro product here, but it actually has a couple of different um, clinical effects. It actually will uh, su uh, ha have an appetite suppressant effect and it has a mild diuretic. So if you have a little bit of fluid retention, um, you might see some improvement on that as well. So that covers the, the increase in metabolism uh, process. The second thing we're going to cover is appetite suppression. So obviously, this is a big, a big component or process when you're looking at weight loss. And uh, Lean has four different uh, components to this process of appetite suppression. Uh, the first one is glucom glucomannan, which is a natural dietary fiber. 
So that's why we take lean about 30 minutes before eating, because we want this, this particular fiber to break down and do its thing inside the stomach, which is really, it, it causes um, expansion of the product, kind of fills us up a little bit. So prior to eating, so that way it reduces our, um, our overall appetite. It's a natural fiber. It's completely safe. And uh, so I think this is a great addition to the product. Uh, the second component is Caroluma fimbriata, which is a, a type of cactus that's native to India. It's an edible cactus. Uh, it does have appetite suppression properties, and it um, has some anti-inflammatory properties based on studies as well. Uh, the third component is going to be the kidney bean extract. Um, that reduces carbohydrate absorption, and it will reduce abdominal fat stores. So again, it, some areas are harder to to really address as far as the abdominal, as far as the fat stores, and the abdomen is one of those areas. And this has been shown to really more or less um, target that abdominal fat store. Um, the fourth one I had I've never heard of uh, until I was researching uh, the product, and that's a New Zealand hop extract. So for all you beer drinkers, I'm sure you're familiar with hops, right? So that's what gives beer its characteristic um, kind of bitterness and some of the, the flavor that's imparted by the hops. Of course, hops are, are natural, naturally grown flower type um, um, flowers, basically. But the interesting with this particular type of hop is it actually modulates GLP-1. So I'm sure a lot of you have heard GLP-1 just in the last few years with the whole uh, focus on ozempic and semaglutide for weight loss. Um, that targets GLP-1 receptor. Uh, this obviously is not going to give you that kind of dramatic effect on GLP-1 blockade, but you're going to get a mild to modest effect. So that's going to really help um, also curb appetite and uh, reduce cravings and, again, add to fat burning. Okay, that brings us to fat burning. Okay, so uh, there's really two components within lean that um, really target fat burning or, or at least... Um, can, we can see that positive benefit. One is chromium, and chromium is a mineral. Uh, it's uh, it promotes um, weight loss. It uh, it and really it helps maintain our lean muscle mass. And and so that's why I'm really happy this is actually part of the component because we're not just trying to lose weight. We really do want to maintain our our lean muscle mass. And chromium has been shown to achieve that. Uh, the second component is uh, berberine hydrochloride, which is a natural component found in a number of different plants. Uh, it's a yellow alkaloid uh, is another, another name for it. But what it does is it activates um, AMP, which is an activated uh, protein kinase. Essentially, what it does is it really stimulates uh, intracellular metabolism. It kind of gets our cells working a little bit more efficiently. And as a result, that can help with, with fat burning and weight loss. Uh, studies have shown it does lower blood sugar in type 2 diabetics. Um, I reviewed one study. It actually, I think it was in uh, 2008, and it actually showed a 20% reduction in um, blood sugars in type 2 diabetics, so, which I thought was pretty impressive. That's a lot of times equivalent to what our goal is with putting a patient on one medication, is really trying to get a 20% reduction. Uh, and then it, it can inhibit the uh, growth of fat cells as well. So those are um, really the, the first three important components as far as weight loss. Uh, I did include the fourth, which is the immune support, because I think that's really important to look at as well. And uh, the, the component within lean that really supports the immune system is the CLA. So CLA is conjugated linoleic acid. Um, it's a type of polyunsaturated omega-6 fatty acid. Uh, it's found naturally in dairy, beef, um, and other, other sources. But it can cause uh, modest fat loss. Again, this isn't going to be something that's going to blow you out of the water. But again, when you combine it with the other components, we get really good results. Uh, the, uh, it has two separate isomers of, the, um, of CLA, which modulate immune function in humans. Um, I thought this was really, for me, interesting because in dermatology, I deal with a lot of inflammatory skin conditions, uh, like psoriasis being a big one. 
And when we look at these conditions, we know that it's really an overactive immune system. We're, we're seeing an uh, increase in activity of some of these inflammatory markers, like interleukin-6. So when you look at CLA, it can actually reduce TNF-alpha and interleukin-6 production. So those are both really important inflammatory cytokines that we see with psoriasis. Uh, we also see it with eczema and other inflammatory skin conditions. But really the key when I saw this was psoriasis. So for years, I've been actually recommending my patients to take um, you know, either a fish oil or um, red krill oil, something with the uh, omega-3 and omega-6 fatty acids, because it can reduce inflammation of the skin as well as involvement of the joints that some of our patients have as well with psoriasis. So this uh, CLA can actually reduce those inflammatory markers and, and overall keep our immune system healthier. So, um, so that's kind of my overview on lean. Uh, I think it's a fantastic product that brings a lot of different components that have you know, some proven mild to moderate improvement with weight loss, but when you bring them together, you really get a powerful product. So hopefully that was helpful. And I thank Trisha for bringing me on the call. Thank you, honey. Could we be any more different, you guys? Wow. <laughs> when people call me and they're asking me about products, I'm like, do I look like somebody that knows anything about any product? Come on now. I'm all about business. And it's, yeah, it works. I love you. Thank you, honey. It, it, it's awesome to hear you know, a physician who doesn't even like network marketing, now all of a sudden really loving network marketing, participating, helping me, telling people about it, using the products. That's how special this company really is, you guys. The, I've been in the industry since 98. So since I met my husband, that I have been in and out of the industry. And this is the first time that He's like, I love this. I love the products. I, I want to be a part of it. So super exciting. All right. So let's talk a little bit about, I never know what I'm going to talk about. Just so you guys know, I'm not a planner. Like my husband makes, you know, slides for things and he researches. I never plan anything. It's just whatever's in my heart, whatever's in my mind at that moment is what comes out. And, and so let's talk a little bit about success and how do you go diamond? How do you go through the ranks? If you are bronze, how do you go silver? How do you go gold? Number one, number one, don't get distracted. Guys, it is so easy to get distracted because as humans, our nature is to want something easy. We are always looking for a shortcut, for a miracle, like, how can I do this faster? How can I do it easier? I don't want to work hard for this. And I don't know why, but even people that are so hardworking, they've been at the same job for 30 years. Even those people, when they come into a network marketing company like LiveGood, they want the shortcut. They want it easy and they want fast. And if they don't get the results that they were hoping for in 90 days, they go look for something else because they think the next company is going to do it. And it's not going to happen that way, you guys. It's not going to happen. And I'll tell you what else. Do not follow the people that go from one gig to the next gig to the next gig. They promote a ton of scams. All they care about is, like Josh says, the shiny penny. You know, they just want to make a buck off of you. Don't allow those people to continue to have a following. We should all come together and say, you know what? People that hop around from one scam to the next to the next, they don't deserve any following. They don't deserve any engagement because all they do is hurt people. And guess what? They make money. That's the problem. And I think that's why they are attractive for people because they're like, oh, he or she is making all this money, so I'm going to follow them. No, they are making money because they're hopping around and everyone is following. So they make that fast start bonus when everybody's joining those big packs. But then they go to the next thing. Once it dries out, once they already brought everybody in and they got the fast start bonus and they leave you hanging, you guys, then you have to go to the next thing because they left. So number one, when you join something, Stick with somebody like Josh, myself, Gloria, Tim Miller, Desiree. Uh, there's so many of you. I shouldn't be saying names because then, you know, you want to say somebody's name and you forget. But there's just so many people that are going to be solid and safe for you. So one of my things is I do not like to expose my, my contacts 
to dangerous people, to the hoppers, to the company hoppers. I don't like my friends and family to be following them because I know they are going to get hurt. And they take advantage of the situation because here's a great example. Let's say that Tim Miller was a company hopper. And then I exposed my entire list of contacts, thousands of people that know, like, and trust me that are on my team. And I exposed them to Tim Miller. And I'm like, hey, Tim Miller is amazing. And all of a sudden, he's a company hopper. Now he's taking my people to different places. So never, ever talk somebody up to your team until you know for a fact that it's a safe person, it's a safe space. Because I've seen that here in Live Good, where you have a leader, a so-called leader, you know, taking people into scams and you introduce your team and you talk them up. Um, and, you know, now your team is leaving with them and you're like, wow, I talked this person up. I had so much love and respect for this person. It was not a safe space. Now he or she is destroying my team. So guys, if you decided that you're going to do Live Good, passion, commitment, love, long haul, that's the only way that you're going to get there because you're going to have your ups and downs and you've got to make that decision and make that commitment in a way that it doesn't matter who says yes, who says no, who stays, who goes, who pays the $9.95, who doesn't, it doesn't matter. It doesn't change who you are. It doesn't change your decision. It doesn't change your commitment. So if you reached out to 10 people and they said no, does that matter? No, they did not make the commitment. They did not make the decision. You did. So it doesn't matter what other people do or say. What they decide does not impact your decision. I made the decision that I'm going crown diamond. I'm going to be double diamond because I'm taking my son's account. My 17-year-old is going diamond here soon. That's my decision. I've had people say no. I've had people quit. I have people that didn't pay the membership. It doesn't matter. I, it, it just goes right over my head. I'm not focused on the people that don't want my help. I don't really care. I don't even know they exist, to be honest. They came in, if they don't want to do it, it doesn't matter. I'm focused on the people that want to do this with me. I'm here for them. I will just give my blood for these people. Whatever they need, I'm going to show up for them. If they need a Zoom, I show up for the Zoom. If they have a question, I'm going to answer the question. I'm going to get on the phone. I'm going to text. Whatever you need from me, I'm here for you. If you want to go all the way to the top with Live Good. If you are a company hopper, I just don't really pay attention. Okay, go have fun. You know, go go look like an idiot. Be on social media promoting 10 things at once. Lose your credibility. Lose the respect people had for you. I'm not going to do that. So if I talk to 10 people, they say no, I quickly find another 10. If I see that five people dropped off, I quickly find another five people because that's the decision that I made that I am going double diamond here soon and I'm going to go crown diamond and I'm not going anywhere. 20 years from now, this is my legacy company. I'm going to pass this on to my son. Now, is it going to be easy? No, guys, nothing worth having is easy. It's not going to be easy. And I think it's also another big mistake that I've heard from so-called leaders Oh, live good is so easy. It sells itself. Nothing sells itself. Have you heard get lean talking? Does get lean speak English? Nothing sells itself. You have to reach out to people. You have to promote. You have to have that passion. Lean has no passion, no, no feelings, doesn't speak. You have to promote it. So the whole idea that, oh, it's easy. It sells itself. Nothing is easy. Nothing sells itself. Nothing happens quickly. So I always say this, it's going to take time, effort, energy. It's not sexy. It's laborious. It's going to, you're going to have to grow. You're going to have to become better. You're going to have to learn. You got to have to, you need to get in, plug in and stay in. You got to show up for, for meetings. Um, yesterday, if you did not hear the Firestarter call, incredible call. They launched a new product, Josh crushed it. Uh, amazing, amazing training. So you, you got to show up. You got to know what's going on. You got to know that we just launched a new product. Like I talked to somebody yesterday 
uh, they didn't even know that the product had launched. And that was last night, late last night. I'm having a conversation. I'm talking about the hormonal balancing product for women. And this person who's on my team is like, oh, when, what did that launch already? Yes. So even if you can't listen to the calls live, which a lot of times I can't, uh, cause I'm a realtor and I may be out. I always immediately, as soon as I'm done with what I'm doing, I'm going to go listen to the recording. So get in, plug in and stay in. Now let's talk a little bit about different ways that you can do this business, because I have been in the industry for such a long time. And when I was top 15 earner in Miriam International, I did not have social media, okay? And I still had a team with over 22,000 people. And it was all just, hey, picking up the phone, warm market. So there are different ways that you can do this business. What, what are the, the different ways? You can do networking, live networking. I was in a BNI back then. I was in a Litip group. Now there's meetup.com. Uh, you can do mixers. You know, it's just a happy hour. You go to a mixer and you meet a whole bunch of people. Uh, as you're networking, the main reason to network is to schedule one-on-ones. So if I go to a mixer, I just went to a networking event the other day and somebody joined my team because of it. And so what I do when I go to a mixer and it's a happy hour mixer and I don't even drink, but you know, people are like, oh, why would I go if I don't drink? I'm like, I don't drink. I had a water and it was like a Tuesday taco thing. So I had a couple of tacos and a water, sparkling water. And I met some people and I got their, their business cards. And then when I got home, I sent them messages and I said, Hey, it was really great meeting you tonight at the mixer. I would love to sit down for coffee and see how we can help each other out with referrals. Hey, they are in business too. They want referrals. And so I sat down for coffee with one of the ladies and she told me about her business. She's in a travel business. I told her about my business and she decided that my, it was a network marketing company as well, by the way. And she decided that my business is much better than hers. And she decided to move over here. And so she joined and that's a networking event. So I wanted to talk a little bit about this because I feel like in 2024, uh, and trust me guys, social media is number one. Okay. But I feel like a lot of times people think it's the only way that you can build this business and it's not. And for some people, they're going to really struggle with social media. And if they feel like it's the only way that they can build this business, then they're going to struggle. So let's talk about different ways. Again, networking being a, a different way that you can do this. It's the same as social media, right? You're networking, you're building relationships and the more people that know, like, and trust you, the more success you're going to have. And at the end of the day, that's it. That's all it is. And we need to know that it's not going to be easy, right? I, like I said, I've had some of the so-called leaders just keep saying, oh, it's easy. If you tell people it's easy and that products sell themselves, you're going to fail because everybody that joins your team is coming in with the wrong idea. And then when they realize that it's not easy, then they quit, so they need to know it's not easy. It's simple. It's very simple. It's a lot of fun. It's really exciting. Uh, you get to stay healthy during the process, which is a gigantic bonus, right? You, I mean, having money is nothing compared to being super healthy and strong, full of energy and having high quality of life. And that's what Live Good offers us, uh, these incredible products. I take 14 products a day, you guys, 14 products, and I have never felt better in my life. And I got to tell you, because I probably have terrible ADD, I'm like completely on a different direction now, but we'll go back to it. But uh, E3 with aminos and reds, I take those three with water, just cold water, and I shake it up in my shaker bottle before I do my workout. And even my trainer, we did we did a test, okay? I was like... Let's not do my mix today and just drink some water before. And even the weights, I couldn't lift as heavy, you guys. The amount of energy, if I want to have energy, I just mix those three, aminos, E3 with reds, and move out of the way because I'm going to take over the world. Like these products are so amazing. And then right after my workouts, I like to mix the collagen uh, lately I've been mixing both, uh, proteins, the chocolate and the vanilla. And some days I just do one or the other, but I always have the protein, the collagen, 
um, and the creatine and then frozen fruit and almond milk telling you right after your workouts. Amazing. I love these products. So during this whole process, we're getting healthy, but let's go back to networking. So there are so many different ways that you can network. You can look for the chamber of commerce in your local area. Uh, BNI can be a little pricey. There is also now uh, my friend Daniela on my team. Uh, she just shared like a virtual networking with me. It's kind of like BNI. You know, you can choose a group that is one per industry. So in your group, you would you would be the only one promoting a health and wellness company. So there's no competition. Uh, if you guys want information on that, let me know. She just sent it to me. And so it's something that you can network online, basically. But you get to do your 30-second commercial or your elevator speech, you know, where it's like, hey, I'm Trisha Costa and I'm with Live Good. And then you give a little bit of what you do. So that's BNI type of thing. Uh, mixers, meetup.com. That's how I found mine, meetup.com. It's free. The only person who pays, it's the person who is running the meeting. I probably will never do that, at least not at this point. Maybe after I retire, maybe I'll run a networking event. But um, so networking is huge, okay? And you network just to schedule one-on-ones because you're not going to get business just because somebody heard you talk for 20 seconds or even because you had a 10-minute conversation at an event. But if you send a message and you say, hey, can we sit down for a cup of coffee, see how we can help each other out with referrals? I'd love to learn more about your business. And it may be a chiropractor. Uh, you know, we have what we call the power partners. So when I go to a networking event, I'm looking for chiropractors, naturopathic doctors, uh, you know, homeopathic people, like anybody that's involved in health and wellness, maybe somebody that works at a spa. I'm looking for those people. I walk the room. And if I am in a, you know, one per industry, I'm paying attention. I'm listening. I'm like, oh, that person at the end, I'm going to go talk to them and sit down and have a cup of coffee. So love doing that. Okay. Uh, something else, guys, is in-home parties. I built Nerium mainly through in-home parties right here in this house, like 12 years ago or so. Um, we had a little party. It was like a, a wine and cheese party. And I don't even drink, but hey, people like to drink wine. Let's get them some wine before they join the team until my friend Julie's mom spilled some red wine on the rug and my husband cut the parties. So then we moved into a hotel room because guys, at that point, I already had when the wine incident happened, I already had like 50 people at my house every Thursday night. So we moved into the Holiday Inn and from the Holiday Inn every Thursday, we went all the way into the Hilton with 275 until the fire department came in because I had 300 people in that room. So I'm going to start doing that again. I decided I got it cleared with my husband. I'm going to start doing weekly parties at my house. And that's something that I duplicated throughout my organization. Just because we have social media, it doesn't mean I can still do it the way I did in the past. So I'm going to start doing that again. And then I would teach. So when people would join my team, they do what you do, right? So if they came to my house and I was doing a party and they joined, now I'm like, why don't you have a launch party for yourself? You don't have to do it every week, but why don't you do a little get together at your house, however you want? You know, it doesn't have to be wine and cheese. It can be anything else. It can be sodas and chips, whatever. But whatever you would do if you had to get together with some friends at your house. And if you want, if you li live around here, I can come and join you, obviously, if they came to my party, they live around here. But if they had friends joining from other states, hey, I can join the party on Zoom. And that's when Zoom came out. It was when Zoom first came out. It was about 12 years ago. And I started using Zooms. And I would close people's parties throughout the whole country. In Hawaii, I was closing parties on Zoom. So not only you can have the parties, but you can teach your team to do the same. So that duplicates. And it's amazing how quickly you can grow to the point where you could go into a hotel room on a weekly basis to do a live presentation. And I love live presentations because there's something really special about giving people hugs and being one-on-one -on -one and eye contact. I feel like it's just different. It's really special to be able to do that. So something else is lifestyle marketing. Lifestyle marketing for me personally is one of the biggest ways that I built my team. 
Uh, with lifestyle marketing, there's a lot that goes into it. I could literally do an hour training just on lifestyle marketing because I think the biggest mistake that people make is over talking, vomiting all over people. Oh my gosh, you know, that you just met somebody at the grocery store and you're like, let me tell you about my company. And you know, there's Nodder and Ben and oh, there's like this anti-inflammatory product. My joints are feeling so great. And guys, we love live good, right? We're passionate, we're excited, we're committed. The person you're talking to has no idea what live good is. So your passion is a huge turnoff to them. They're like, psycho, get away from me right now. Like, do not want to talk to you. Have no idea what the heck you're talking about. And I'm not interested. So you got to be really careful with lifestyle marketing. It can be an incredible way. Just this past month, or actually no, month of May, well, I guess between like middle of May and middle of, uh, I mean, uh, middle of April to middle of May, about 30 days, five people joined my team through lifestyle marketing, Uber drivers. One of them is a huge influencer on TikTok. He's got like 70,000 people on TikTok and he was my Uber driver and he joined my team. So my whole secret of, you know, lifestyle marketing is number one, listen, listen, and I could get into way more details, but I'll give you like a really quick version of my success with lifestyle marketing. Listen, listen, don't talk. Zip it. Listen, ask questions, ask questions. Oh, how long have you been driving for Uber? Well, like Bev, who I think is actually on the Zoom right now. I met Bev at Sprouts like two, three weeks ago, and she was uh, serving empanadas. You know, when they give you samples of food at the grocery store and she gave me empanadas and I have been on this thing where I'm like, I am attracting the most amazing Asian people into my life and into my business because Asians are incredible. They're smart. They're motivated. They are hardworking. And I want to work with those kind of people. So I'm like, I'm attracting Asians into my life. And I get to Sprouts and I get an empanada and I start talking to this incredible lady, Bev. And yeah, I think she's here on the call. Anyway, so I'm like, well, wow, these are delicious. How long have you been working for this company? How do you like working for them? Which one is your favorite? Because they have three different flavors. And I bought the three boxes of empanadas. It was a huge success in my house. And so we started talking. How many kids do you have? Where do you live? Questions, questions. And then listen, listen, listen. And then she tells me, I'm from the Philippines. I'm like, ta-da, I attracted an Asian to my life. And so guys, I love using third party, okay? Third party. Instead of saying, hey, Bev, let me tell you about my business. Oh my gosh, I've been dying to meet a Filipino woman. You got to join. I have this anti-inflammatory product. And then there's lean with Shaji Bugri in it. And you got to take it. That's what I've seen you guys do this. I've seen it. I promise. And I'm always like, oh no, don't do that. You're like destroying your exposure. So instead, I'm asking questions, asking questions. And she says, she's from the Philippines and very calmly. Okay, very calmly. I said, wow, that's amazing. I have a lot of respect for people in the Philippines because I work with a global company and the Filipinos became top in my company because you guys are super hardworking. Do you happen to know anyone in the Philippines who could be interested in making some extra money from home? So see, I'm not going after Bev because I'm doing two things at once. Number one, I'm not going to get rejected because I'm not asking her. I'm asking if she knows somebody. So I love that third party thing. So do you know somebody? And number two, I'm doing the takeaway. And if you know anything about sales, the takeaway is my favorite technique. I've been doing sales my whole life. I feel like I was born selling stuff. And it's all about the takeaway. Timeshare people do that, right? Where they say, well, Josh, you know, I don't think you and your family are the right fit for this timeshare because it's very high end. And then Josh <laughs> like, what the heck? What? You don't think I'm high end? I want the timeshare, right? That's what timeshare people do. They do the take away so that people are like, what do you mean? So when I said to Bev, do you know anybody in the Philippines that could be interested? She's like, I'm interested. She's probably like, what? I'm not good enough because I live in the US? Like, I'm interested. I'm like, awesome. So guys, at that point, you are the messenger, not the message. Okay. So when they say, yeah, I'm interested, you don't vomit to them 
uh, on them either. So you never, ever vomit any information ever. So at that point, you're just delivering the message. You're the messenger. So all I say is, awesome. I would love to share some information with you. Are you on Facebook? Because I want her to see my stuff. I want her to, because now the posts are going to be lean and everything else, right? So I'm like, oh, awesome. And that way I don't have to ask for, for the phone number either. I could, I could say, what's the best phone number where I can send you a link? But first I'm going to say, oh, are you on Facebook? And she said, yes. So I found her. I'm like, oh, is the, it's this one. And she's like, yes. I'm like, awesome. Uh, let me also get your number because I'm going to send you a link where you can watch a five minute video and create a free account. So she gave me her phone number and I sent her the link. So guys, once I have her on Facebook, I sent her a message saying, hello, I have her phone number. I'm going to zip it. Okay. Not another word, like not even the name of the, nothing, nothing. Okay. Well, awesome. I'll send you that link. And where do I get the boxes of empanadas? And she walked me. She's so awesome. She walked me all the way to the back of the store to get the empanadas. Uh, and that was it. Now I'm talking about her son and where he goes to school. I'm done because I do not want, if I become the message, I, I blew it. Okay. Even after I got her on Facebook, even after I have her phone number, now I'm going to talk her out of it. I, I'm going to still be psycho on trying to sell the idea. I'm, I cannot sell the idea. Ben Glinsky sells the idea for me in five minutes with that incredible video. So he's the one selling it. All I am is the message. Meet enough people, do it in a classy way that I can, I can take them to my Facebook. I can get their phone number and then share Ben Glensky with him and the website where they can see everything. They can see lean. They can see the hormonal balancing thing. They can see everything there, the greens, the reds. I don't have to do any of the work, but just the introduction. Then there's the warm market list, you guys. You got to reach out to the people that you know. You know, this whole idea that internet marketers have created for us, that if you talk to people about your company, you know, there's, there are, there's, what is that? Um, the ladies, there's a group of ladies, they do funny videos making fun of network marketers. And the whole idea is that you have to build a list and have funnels. And so throughout the past 10 years, uh, Elite Marketing Pro and all the people that branched off from Elite Marketing Pro, their job is to go online and say, oh, are you still bothering friends and family? Oh, let me show you how I recruited 10,000 people in two minutes with my list. Whatever. They're trying to sell you on whatever funnels they're selling and programs that cost thousands of dollars and way less than 1% of people are ever going to make money with that joke. The boss ladies, I think it's what it's called. Anyway, those are all the branch offs from Elite Marketing Pro. Trust me, I've spent tens of thousands of dollars with this crap. And I'll tell you, keep your money. It's a waste of time, energy, and all of it. So don't let them, don't let them make you believe that reaching out to friends and family is a bad thing. No, it's a terrible thing if you don't reach out to your friends and family. My whole family is on these products, you guys. I would feel bad if my mom was not taking factor four. She has arthritis. So no, I'm, I am going to reach out to everyone I care about, everyone I know, because they are going to hear from somebody else. We're gonna have 100 million members in Live Good. I promise you, you can write that down. On the 25th of May, 24, Trisha said we were going to have 100 million members. Many people are going to be people you know, like, and trust. They know you like and trust you. And guess what? They're not going to be on your team. So yes, reach out to everybody you know. Again, don't vomit on them. Just ask a question. Say, hey, have you already heard of Live Good? Most people are at this point, most people are going to say no. In a few years, they're going to be like, yeah, who hasn't, right? It would be like asking, have you ever heard of Costco or Sam's Club or Amazon? That's what this is going to be. So take advantage of the fact that you're here now and that you can call people and text people and say, hey, have you already heard of LiveGood? And they say, no, I haven't. You know what? I'm going to send you a link. Create a free account with this account with this company because I promise you, if you don't, 
you're going to regret later. You're going to be mad at me. And if you create a free account, you're going to thank me later. They have the highest quality products for the lowest prices. It's a wholesale club, just like Costco. Here's the link. Let me call you in 10 minutes and get your feedback on it. That's it. You just tell them to do it. Everybody needs to create a free account. You're not selling anything. You're doing them a huge favor to get them to create a free account with you. And then you follow up. Hey, questions. Are you ready to get started with me on this? This is the best thing that's ever happened to my professional life. This is the best thing that's ever happened to my health. You got to try these products. It comes with a 90 day money back guarantee. You have nothing to lose. That's it. Okay. But you're not talking about products. You're not vomiting all over people. It's that simple. And then guys, last but not least is social media. And, you know, obviously it's overly done. We talk about social media. That's all we talk about 24 seven is social media. There's some really simple rules, you know, don't have your dog, don't have your car, uh, don't have your house on the little circle on your profile. It has to be your face. People have to see your eyes in that picture. Have a professional banner behind you, you know, that tells people who you are, what you do, how you can help them. Cause nobody cares about us. They care about what we can do for them. Uh, you know, they, we all listen to W I I F M what's in it for me. So let's tell them what's in it for them, how we can help them to get healthy, stay healthy, doing it in an affordable way. We can also explain to them that we have a membership that pays how they can get paid with this membership. So the banner should show that, um, you know, posting, you got to post daily, you got to learn how to do reels and stories and have a mix of things in your page. You got to be consistent. You got to show up for your audience. It takes time. Surprise, surprise. It takes time to build an audience. You are not going to have a huge following in two weeks or even in 90 days. Okay. And people are not going to reach out and want to join you in 90 days. It's taken me, I'm now a year and three months into it, right? March, April, May. Yeah, I'm a year and three months into it. I'm going to say that by the time I hit my 10th and 11th month, it's when people started to reach out to me. Hey, I've been watching you on social media. I've been watching you. I've been resisting it. I think now I'm ready to join. Can we chat? Can we talk? So it doesn't happen quickly, guys. The first few lives I did, I had 10 people watch it. I didn't have thousands watch it. I had 10 people, but I continue to do it. And that's the, the secret to having success. It's the, in the longevity. You do it even though nobody's engaging, even though nobody's joining, even though nobody is liking it, nobody is watching. You continue to do it. You show up even though you're not having the results you had hoped for. And when you do that long term, you get the results. Um, I'm going to do a training, um, a live training here in Scottsdale, Arizona on August 23rd and 24th. Uh, if you want to know about it, let me know. I can send you a flyer on that. I think it's the 23rd and yeah, Friday, the 23rd and Saturday, the 24th, and then Sunday, the 25th, we're going to hang out by the pool. Um, I chose that weekend because it's boiling hot. So flights are cheap. The hotel, everything is cheap in Arizona when it's the end of August because it's so hot. But guess what? We have AC and the resort has a gorgeous pool and it's super inexpensive. Normally that resort during the winter can go for as much as $700 a night when they have big events in Scottsdale. And it's like they gave me a deal for $129 if you are part of the group. Here's the catch with this. This is not going to be a conference open to the whole world. And, you know, I want to get as many people as I possibly can inside of a room. I'm going to cap it as 75 because it's not a conference. It's a workshop. So everybody has to bring a laptop and I'm going to walk the room and work with people one on one on how to build a brand, you know, because you need to have your branding right online. Like, who are you? Who do you serve? Uh, is that women? Uh, how old are the women that are going to follow you? You know, you have to develop your own little tribe. Uh, like scumbags don't like me. Like the sleaze ball network marketers, they don't like me because I call out the scams. So the people that follow me are people with high integrity, 
Uh, they tell the truth. They tell it how it is. Like that's the tribe that I have attracted. Uh, I have a lot of women that are between the ages of like late forties to to mid fifties. That's like the biggest group. And I can show you guys how you see that when you go to your Facebook analytics. You can see who is the majority of people that follow you. So helping people develop a brand. You know the women that follow you. Like what do they like? Where do they live? You know what are they all about? Uh, what are their struggles right now? Because on social media, for you to have high engagement, it needs to be, you know, when you go to church and you're like, oh, the pastor knows what's going on with me this week. Like he's talking to me. That's when you know you're in the right church because you're like, wow, that was for me. Like that, oof, I took that to heart. That's when you have a good following is when, when you speak and people are like, oh, She's talking to me. She knows what's going on in my life right now. She knows what I'm struggling with. So that's the engagement that you want. So we're going to talk about branding. Uh, we're going to go in details with lifestyle marketing. We're going to do role playing. So I cannot have a big group. So this is not just for my team. It's for anybody uh, that wants to come, but it's going to cap at 75 uh, for that reason, because I want to be able to do like one-on-one -on -one. and I want to build relationships with the people that come to this, you know, like build some strong friendships, hang out by the pool on Sunday. So it's not going to be, you know, hundreds of people uh, coming to this at 75. There's no more uh, tickets available. So if you have interest, let me know. And with that, I don't know if Josh is still here. If Josh wants to give us like a couple of nuggets here and close the call for us. Uh, if not, I don't know if he's still here or not. Oh yeah, he is. Hey, Josh. Hey, Trisha, I'm here, but Brittany's going to Brittany's going to um, close the call. I'm, Yay! I actually, my mother and father-in-law just came over. So I've been moderating, but Brittany's going to close the call for you guys. Oh, awesome. Okay. The better half is coming, you guys. Hey, Britt. Good to see you. I can't yes. even see myself. Okay. <laughs> I don't know where I'm on Josh's laptop. So I have, I'm not used to this. I'm used to being on. I can see your big beautiful big. face. Okay. Awesome. Um, yeah, I'm in just, um, I'm excited. I love the training. Um, thank you to your husband for, um, jumping on and sharing all the nuggets about lean because I do not understand all the education stuff. Um, but I am very grateful for those that do so. Um, and it helps me to be able to help others. So, um, I love that. And, um, I'm just, I'm excited. I'm excited about live good. Um, you know, um, I just see the fire and, um, in others and, um, and I'm excited, you know, just where it's, where it's going, um, because it's just an amazing, amazing company an amazing opportunity to help people, um, you know, all across the world, um, from the little guy to those that have experience and everything. And so, um, I'm just excited. Um, yeah. And so I don't know, do you, is there anything that you're wanting me to share about? No, anything you guys, anything you say is always amazing. <laughs> I love all your trainings. I love the Friday trainings when you guys are on there. It's always the best. <laughs> yeah. Um, well, and honestly, I will tell you, cause I'm, I think we're kind of like you, we don't plan things. And so like yesterday morning I woke up and we get the invitation to be on the call. And then I'm like, Hmm, what am I going to talk about today? <laughs> because it's just kind of a spur of the moment thing, because I feel like when we train, it needs to be from the heart. And so I just, I think that that's just, you know, more genuine. And so, and whatever I'm feeling. And so yesterday I was definitely feeling testimonies and things like that. And so that's what I shared about. Um, and so, and, you know, honestly, like, I know that I have a lot of people are in Miami right now. Um, I love that. Um, I know I have a girl on our team that she um, is just getting started and she went to Miami on her own today. Um, and, um, I'm very proud of her because she's, you know, stepping out, she's new to this industry and she doesn't even under, like, she doesn't understand everything, right? Like she hasn't, doesn't have scar tissue and all that stuff. And so she just, she flew from Vegas to Miami to be around the culture and the people. And I know that she's being welcomed and invited because we have a loving family. And so, um, I love that, you know, I love the way, you know, that we all just help people no matter what. And so, um, I don't really know if I have any nuggets for today. I'm trying to think. <laughs> so. 
Well, thank you. I want to thank you and Josh for moderating the call for me because it's really hard when you have, you know, dozens of people trying to jump into the room and you're trying to talk at the same time. So thank you so much for always being there, for being amazing friends. You know, it's, I mean, the people I've met here in Live Good, I've made so many incredible new friendships and that includes the two of you. So super grateful. Uh, we're going on a cruise, you guys. So Josh, Britt and I, Gloria and Susan and who else? So there's a ton Tim, of people. Desiree. <laughs> oh, Tim and Des are definitely going to be there. So I don't know. I think we already probably have have like 40 people going at this point. There's a ton of people going. So if you guys want info on the cruise too, let us know. It's November 11th through the 16th out of Miami. And it goes to Perfect Day at Coco Key, which is Royal Caribbean's private island. And if you pull that up, you guys, you're going to get on the cruise. Because once you see Coco Key, I mean, that island is un believable all the activities they have on the island so it's going to be an awesome cruise we did one last year out of uh, long beach it was the most fun i've had in a long time like because my husband and i for the past you know 18 years basically everything we've done has been with nathan you know it's oh let's go on the disney cruise and so it was my first uh, adult vacation with all the crazies from live good and it was way too much fun so i know this one is going to be incredible so if you guys want information on any of that uh just reach out and let me know and that's it you guys thanks for being here 1005 love you guys uh you know we we couldn't do this without all of you so thank you recording stopped uh, Oh, thanks. Somebody stopped the recording there. It's probably Timbo. He's still here. But thanks for being here, you guys. Thanks for getting in, for plugging in, and for staying in with all of us. If you guys ever need anything, there's no teams. You know, we help everybody. So if you need anything, you can reach out to Josh and Britt. Reach out to me. Uh, we always respond. We're always here for you. Have a beautiful, blessed weekend. I didn't go to Miami because my son is graduating. My best friend's daughter's graduating. My uh, um, my favorite niece, my sister's daughter is graduating. She's graduating from junior high. But, you know, we have, I mean, this is just a graduating. I know Des is at a graduation right now. So we're all graduating this uh, this weekend. So happy graduation for everybody. An amazing time for those of you that are in Miami. Love you guys. And we'll see you next week with uh, Tim Miller here on the same, uh, same, same link every week. Bye, guys. Bye, Britt. Bye. <laughs> Bye.